What's up, y'all? Canadian Dipper here. Um, yeah, you can see I already have a lip pack. I threw one in when I got home from the gym, and it's been in for probably a couple hours now. So, when I'm dipping tonight, you better pack your lips. I already, I'm ahead of you, so you better all have a lip pack already, or you better be throwing one in right now as we speak. I'm dipping plain old Copenhagen snuff, like always. And I told you that I'd get a story, well, a story time video for you guys yesterday, and, uh, well, life got in the way again, and I can't do anything about that. Life happens, shit happens. Try and get videos up, but, you know, shit gets in the way sometimes, and you have to compromise and try and figure out what to do, but... Today, we are spitting in a Anakin bottle. Uh, no, I am not, uh, 21, but I am from Canada. Um, if you can't tell by the name, well... Now you know. But, in Canada, you only have to be 19 to drink. That's it. So, <laughs> sucks to be you guys in the States if you're fucking 19 waiting to turn 21 in order to be able to buy legal beer or fucking whatever it is. But, I promised you guys a story time video. I didn't end up coming out with one. And, uh, well, I'll give you one today. It'll be about the time that I got a fishing hook in my foot. It wasn't too long ago either. It was only a couple weeks ago. And, uh, I was out fishing, you know, doing my normal thing, catching some uh, small smallies. If you guys don't know what that means, smallmouth bass. I was up at the uh, Nine Mile River, and I was trying to improve clinch, and the hook swung back and got caught in my pants. And this weekend, I didn't have my tackle box or anything. I just had my fishing rod in my trunk, so I didn't have any pliers or anything to take it out or cut it off or anything, so I left it in there. Not thinking anything of it. Me and my buddy, we get back to my cottage around uh, probably 10:30, 11 o'clock. We're sitting there shooting the shit, drinking, having a few beers, having some. Uh, well, I had a uh, few beers while fishing, and uh, he was driving, so he didn't have anything. And uh, we were up at my cottage, and he was poured himself a, a whiskey and coke. And right before he started drinking it, I went to go move my leg and sit down. And all of a sudden, I felt this pain. And at that moment, I'm just sitting there, I'm thinking, Son of a bitch, I forgot to take the hook out of my pants. So I'm sitting there, my leg, like this. I'm pulling my foot, trying to fucking get my foot out of my goddamn pants. And when I pull on it, I'm realizing that it's all coming out. And I have the barb. The barb was into my foot. There's no getting that thing out. So I get my buddy, I tell him to bring a bottle of whiskey over, take a couple bottle shots, I'm just pulling on it, trying to get it out. And my foot is stuck. And I look at him and like, Sebby? Um, I can't move my foot. And he starts laughing, he thinks I'm fucking joking around, like, I'm like, no, I can't move my foot, there's a hook in it. And at that moment he realized that I wasn't fucking around, I was being fucking serious. He comes over, he's like, where the hell in your foot is, is it? And at that time, I thought it was right up in that part right there, right by the bone. So I point to that area, and he's like, have you tried pulling it? Pulling it out? Yeah, and he's like, L let me see. So he pulls on my foot, and he realizes that oh, it's fucking stuck. He's like, well, I can try and pull it out. But that's that doesn't seem to be working, so I'm gonna call my parents. So my parents, they were out of they were, weren't up at the cottage. They weren't in Godrich. They were fucking out in uh, Bayfield visiting my aunt and uncle. But so he he calls his parents, and his mom comes up, and his dad comes up, and his mom she was worried about me, and of course my uh, uncle he looks at it and he's like. You idiot! How the hell did you get a fucking fishing hook in your foot? So I tell him the story and he starts laughing. That's my one uncle for you. He, he's a uh, classic German, laughs at fucking everything if you do something stupid. He's gonna chirp you and make fun of you. So I'm sitting there and brand new pair of jeans. I fucking love the jeans. I end up, this is actually the exact same style of the ones I had before because I love them so much and I need to get another pair. So brand new jeans. Mac comes over with scissors and fucking 
the whole legs off up to my fucking thigh, so I can't even turn them into jean shorts, which fucking sucked. But yes, I'm having a beer. Ugh. But as I was saying, she cuts my jeans up, and I'm able to actually move my foot. And she's looking on it and pulling on my foot, and she can't get it out, so. Of course, they take me to the hospital. And up there, I was uh, getting admitted, and they're asking me, like, where's the fishing hook? And I'm like, in my foot. And the person admitting me, she's like, have you seen fishing hooks in lots of body parts, but never in the foot. It's usually in the ear or in the hand or something like that. And I'm like... And she's like, did you step on it? <laughs> I wish I would have been able to say yeah, but nope, I managed to hook myself back home while I was ha back at my college while I was drinking. And the doctor ends up going in and he fucking freezes my foot so I can't feel anything. And he's sitting there with these fucking tiny wire cutters, probably only about that big, fucking squeezing on the damn thing. Can't break it worth two shit because the wire cutters are shit. And... So then he ends up getting a pair of normal pliers, and try, he's trying to push it through, and it's not going, and it's not going. So then he tells me, he's like, okay, we're going to have to pull it out the way it went in. Oh, fuck, this is going to be fun. I mean, my foot was frozen, so I didn't feel anything, and uh, he was sitting there pulling on it for a good five minutes before it finally came loose. And turns out that it was right in that part of my foot down there. I thought it was up there. It was, a, it was hitting a nerve that made it feel like it was up there when it really was down on that part of my foot. I had no fucking clue. And he pulls the hook out. And you could see the barb was all the way in. It, there was no getting that out. And We come back to the college and the next day my Tante Amina, aunt in German, uh, she's older, she used to be a nurse and she was retired and she said, Why don't you just call me and wake me up? I would have been able to pull that out with it, no problem. I'm guessing what she would have done, she would have given me a piece of wood or something. Okay, bite down. Boom! <laughs> right out. And I would have preferred that instead of sitting in a merge for a fucking hour waiting to be seen by a doctor with a fishing hook in my foot. But I ended up getting it out and fuck, the week after, I, the fishing gods must have me cursed because the week after I went out and I wasn't catching shit. I was going for smallmouth again. The same thing that I was using the week before, and I actually caught a lot, but... I will go out again, and I end up getting snagged. I'm pulling on my rod, like, trying to unhook it, go upstream, go downstream, pulling on it. And I go and I pull up, and my rod fucking snaps into... Well, it disconnects right at the middle, like most rods do, like some rods do. But I pull it apart, and it's in three pieces, and I'm just sitting there. Fucking... So, my rod, the one that I had, it was a, uh, Fluger President, but that thing's gone now, so. I have no fishing rod for the next few weeks, and I told my mom I was going to buy a new one, and she said, no, you can't do that, your birthday's coming up, so. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to fish till the end of July, which fucking sucks. So, that's what ended up happening, and you probably, guys probably saw me talking with this bandit on the, nah. Bandit type thing on my finger. I'm not flipping guys off. But today I managed to put a screw into my finger. Fucking. I was going through a 2x2 two two with a piece of plywood that was a half inch thick. And if you guys know anything about uh, like finished wood, a 2x2 two two is not 2 inches. It's an inch and a half. Well, I don't know. So. Altogether, it was two inches thick, and I was using a three inch nail to put it in. I mean, a three inch screw. So I'm holding it in at the back, and I go in. Fuck, right into my finger. And I pull my finger out. I'm like, ah, son of a bitch, holding it. And the journeyman that I was working with, he looks at it, he's like, I saw that coming a mile away, but I wasn't going to say anything, because now you're never going to do that again. Hell no, I'm not going to do that again. And you'd think I would have learned, because I put a bit, like, the tip of a screw into my palm a little while ago and now I managed to get it and then of course I didn't learn from that because it didn't actually go in it just kind of hit the top layer of skin so then I ended up putting it into this finger and fuck I, I, it must have went all into like it must have hit the bone 
because it was past the point and in till like the thickest part of the screw. I mean, it was only like a three inch deck screw, so it wasn't too thick, so I didn't have to worry about stitches or anything. But man, I'm cursed. I'm getting cut left, right, and center, and uh, now the tip of my finger. There must be nerve damage because I cannot feel shit when I press on it. Like it is. Like I can squeeze my fingers together and there's nothing. So I think I did some nerve damage and uh, I cut myself on that finger a few days ago. Uh, I fucking forget how. Oh yeah. A piece of uh, aluminum. Sliced my finger open on that again. So fuck. I've come to the conclusion that I'm cursed. And there is nothing I can do about it. I'm just going to keep getting cut until this curse passes. So, you know, stay at work, keep working. If you get cut, it's just skin, it'll grow back. And uh, if I lose a finger, well, I'll be sitting here like that. Because <laughs> it seems to be this finger that it hates. So, you know, I'm going to keep going to work every day. And uh, there's probably going to be more story time videos about how I fucking cut myself or hurt myself or something stupid like that for me. Not thinking before I do something, so. I mean, this wasn't too exciting of a story, and I have a better one, but. That'll be for another time. It's, it'll be about the time that my ex caught me dipping, and oh fuck, that's a funny fucking story for you guys, so. Stay tuned, I'll probably post two up today because I don't know if I'll be able to get a video out tomorrow, but keep on dipping, y'all. See you later.